You're listening to 92 WICB Ithaca. VIC, the best of what's next. You're locked into commercial free IC. Chris Thomas, I'm DJ Christmas. My DJ name is Kate Kicks. DJ Bex. By day on Modern Rock, my name is DJ Sean. DJ Amelia. DJ Dizzy. DJ Brown Winning. But late at night, if I'm keeping it locked on city rhythms, they call me DJ Carnivore. DJ DC. I'm DJ Old Fashioned. I was never able to totally lock one down, so. DJ JC. DJ D Dubs. I am DJ Cop Dog. DJ Alex, DJ Alex Barth, DJ Alex B, uh, DJ Jerry Thunder, for those of you who watch the 70s show. DJ Jane Elon. <laughs> DJ Wishwoods. DJ Kier. For VIC, since I first started on the station, I've been DJ J Crash. My name is Caitlin Better, and my DJ name is DJ Cat V. Um, but it started off as Foxy Grandpa, and then I changed it because all my relatives made fun of me. So, how did my radio journey begin? My friend came up to me and was like, yo, are you going to go to Radio Rush Night next semester? And I was like, radio? Who the hell wants to do radio? Before I came here, I instantly knew I wanted to join radio. And one of the first things I did was make sure I made it to Rush Night. And I really loved the like the recruitment night uh, video and just the vibes that everyone was coming off. So I knew I had to get involved in you guys And I was just like, wow, that's something I could totally do. So um, I just decided that I wanted to get into radio in college, which honestly was one of the main reasons I started going to Ithaca. I remember coming to them and it was like, hey, you got any like, you know, kind of rock, classic rock? And like, Not really. We got jazz. Oh, that's a genre. Sure, let's, let's do jazz. And I joined it and kind of fell in love with it and did it every, every semester I was here. I knew I wanted to do radio from the beginning. And all my friends were pretty much a part of it, so by watching them, I decided it's really time to join, so I should get on that. And I did, and it was the best decision I ever made. Favorite radio memories? I had an overnight shift, two to four, and Emily Roscoe was my DJ buddy, and I was really, really nervous. And I did 12 to two on VIC, and then uh, four to six on WICB working on three Quartica games, uh, especially being on the sidelines for two of them. Well, I definitely loved being a part of summer staff just because we were able to get like really close with a few of the DJs because there wasn't a lot of us. So I would have this weird 2 to 4 a.m. on Wednesday mornings where I didn't have enough time to go back to my dorm and sleep, so I would go upstairs to the park lounge and listen to uh, different albums. And at like, like 3 in the morning, <laughs> There, there was dead air. I was like, oh, oh god, all right, gotta, gotta run to the studio. It's like, I don't know if I can do this. And I remember me and Elise and Joe trying to fix automation after like four drinks each, which is surprisingly difficult. Who wouldn't think what it is? Sam was on the other side. It was just, it was just such a fun season. That's something that I'll always remember. Uh, but they went to playoffs, and the team was just so great, and me covering them was so great here. In the US. I was like, I want to have my own show and put it over a lot, so, um, and I ended up actually getting my own show my first semester, so, that was really cool. Rockumentary was good, the Bruce Springsteen show, I know Chris wasn't totally a fan of it, but, uh, it meant a lot for, uh, it meant a lot to me and I really enjoyed doing that. Anyway, I think I answered that. What are some of your favorite radio traditions? Um... By far, number one thing that comes to mind is the Cortica mic. ICB! 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 Uh, every year before Cortica, the football game, radio has a game against Cortland's radio station, W Suck, WSUC. And we play them, and we usually lose, but we have a hell of a lot more fun than they ever will. Here's our web director, and here in Zoopal. 
He hasn't played football either. I am <laughs> Assistant coach, according to Mike 2015, Sam Coop. Sam Cooperman right here on well, the sideline. I, I was originally signed defensive coordinator. We, we've given up four touchdowns, so I, I don't think I'm doing too good of a job. But We're, We just, like, we have so much more fun than they do. We're last in football, number one in the Prince Review. I love uh, Just Desserts. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so hi, everybody. I'm doing the club -o, uh, the club orientation. Uh, Cortica Mike again, um, dodgeball, uh, playing Stacy's mom. Stacy, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Stacy's mom. Um, yeah. Obviously, 50 Hour is one of them. I really like um, the um, the scavenger hunt for VIC for the marathon. Like we always like do such crazy stuff and like have adventures all over the town at like three in the morning. It's always super fun. Particularly, one of my best memories is when DJ Cat V and Bassmaster switched clothes, and <laughs> Eric was wearing tights the entire rest of the time when we were running around Walmart and trying to find the weirdest things to buy and just do all the crazy crazy stuff for the scavenger hunt. It was a great memory. It was also just like, well, oh, I didn't know what was going on half the time. There's always a ton of people downstairs and crazy things happen every year and the best stories come out of it. And those are some of the memories that I'll carry with me for probably the rest of my life. I'm crying, but like, they don't know that I'm crying the whole time. I'm like crying, I'm just like, oh my God. So that was just a really nice moment that like, it was over, like we did a good job, we went over our, um, our goal and so that, was, that was the most recent. Radio has definitely enhanced my college experience. It lets you um, be creative in a very distinct uh, way. And it's so much more than just radio. I mean, I came in here knowing absolutely no one, and that really, I think radio really helped me kind of find my people and find a lot of friends and things like that. Radio is a great getaway from everything else going on, to be able to just sit somewhere and play music and just see what's going on in the world and know that people are listening to you. Radio's like half of my college experience. The closest connections in my college career, starting off on VIC, I like didn't know anyone when I transferred here. And like it was immediately just like a welcoming place that immediately took me in. Radio's definitely made me more confident. Um, going into this, I was really, I wasn't a shy person, but I didn't really think I would ever be on the radio. Being on radio was great because it gave me an outlet to perform and really kind of show my personality and people weren't staring at me but people were actually listening to what I had to say. It doesn't matter what time of day it is or like I, I may not know who's in the studio right now but if I just need somewhere to hang out I know I can just go into the studio and be like hey I'm gonna hang out with you for a bit and I know it's gonna be a cool person <laughs> and we're gonna have a lot of fun and it's gonna be great music. I am going to miss um I'm gonna miss the listeners, actually, more than anything else. I'll probably miss hearing my voice all over the station after we're doing Pride so much. There's nothing that warms my soul more um, at 1 a.m. on like a Friday night, Saturday morning than getting like drunk request for Trap Queen. <laughs> Being part of WICB, we all build off each other and everyone kind of works with each other to make each other successful. And that's by far number one thing I'll miss most about WICB and college radio. I'm actually not the biggest person to be on air. I don't enjoy it like as much. It's not my favorite thing, but working with people and just having fun and being outside. Like, that's just like, I love it. I love it. It's so fun. Besides all of the knowledge and experience that I've gained from it, I've definitely gained lifelong friends as well, so it's definitely been one of the best experiences I've ever had here. The friendships I've made have been, like, probably the greatest thing I've taken away from radio because there are people that have changed my life for the better and there are people that I know I'm going to be friends with 10 years from now kind of thing and there are people I know I'll be able to come back to and say hi to if I happen to see them somewhere. I'm going to miss them. Can you do your best Chris Wheatley impression? <clears throat> Let's see. I've been I've been practicing <laughs> I've been practicing four years for this. 
Their number, 273 Papa. <laughs> Support for WICV comes from Papa John's Pizza. <laughs> 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 I like know the ad, but I can't. I was thinking about this phone. Like. City Rhythms does not do Chris Wheatley impressions out of um, fear. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, uh, you're sounding really great, but I want you to know that it's pronounced the killers, not whatever the hell you just said. Oh, Papa John's. That's good. I love that mushroom. Mushroom, uh, pepper one. It's weird that no one else eats it, but I just love that flavor. Okay, we have to keep in mind that, like, I totally want a recommendation letter from Chris Wheatley. Hey guys, uh, that song? Yeah, sounds terrible on our station, doesn't it? Yep, yeah, we should probably get rid of that one. Hey, uh, hey, Max, it's, uh, it's Chris, uh. I know it's kind of early in the morning, but uh, Joe slept through his shift again. Could you go uh, wake him up? I know you live uh, uh, down the hall. <laughs> that, that happened way too many times, actually. Yeah, classic rock's great, but we got WVBR, we got I-100. They're all playing their classic rock. People have other places to go. They expect good music from ICB. That's what we got to give them. Well, uh, the uh, session sounds really good today. <laughs> Sorry.